What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to be talking about the Exorcist Believer in this video here again today. We'll be going over the character of Chris McNeil and blatantly discussing what I was teetering on discussing months months before this dropped back in July when I was talking about the test screening reactions and how I was trying to prep a lot of you who had been watching my videos up until this point now that the handling of Chris McNeil would indeed fall flat on its face a lot of you who even followed me on Twitter were wondering why I was already being so negative about their claims of her being presented as an expert why was I already being so negative but keep in mind again I already knew how they were going to utilize her Granted, I still waited and watched the movie and coming out of it, I was still one of the people who will still say it was a solid, competent enough made film. It just missed the marks of what you think a legacy sequel would have been to The Exorcist. And then even without The Exorcist existing, if you're just judging this movie on its own merit, even without us already seeing and knowing Chris McNeil, the way the character is utilized still would just be a complete dud and a turd. So Chris McNeil, when we meet her, she is someone who has apparently spent the last 50 years becoming knowledgeable on all things regarding exorcisms, the different religions that practice them. And she wrote a book sharing her experience with her daughter, Reagan. Reagan, of course, and her drifted apart due to this because of success created some issues in Reagan's life. So her mother was cut off. And Chris actually has a line where she's like, she doesn't even know where Reagan is at this point. And she would love to see her daughter one last time. So what was so disrespectful about the handling of Chris McNeil in the latest movie, The Exorcist, The Believer? or the exorcist believer what was disrespectful is the fact that if i were to take her out of this film it's the same thing and that's not to say you couldn't have done that with sydney prescott in screen five but the context of that is severely different when i turn on screen five i don't have a sydney prescott that's presented to me in the most lackluster underwhelming you don't really matter sort of way that chris mcneil is she's handled in a way that initially you want me to think she's this quote-unquote expert but then at the same time you wasted no time in making sure that that initial introduction or reintroduction of this legacy character is completely stepped on is completely rendered useless it's completely rendered mute what expert walks up into a room with a possessed child and then performs an exorcism on said child after you initially stated you have never done an exorcism before so if you have done extensive research and maybe you know an understanding of what that looks like why would you then go a step further and try to do something you never done before all because you feel sorry for these strangers you don't know it's just it, it's it's not sensible and some people have used the argument oh well she's old what else should she do was dr loomis not old as the series progressed as the halloween series progressed i think so he seemed fairly fairly old maybe not as old as chris is in believer but don't that excuse doesn't even add up when you think of all these other old characters that have been used quite well in other horror projects the fact of the matter is they wrote her in a way that says one thing about her but then you told a completely different story with her there is nothing about her that screamed expert there's nothing about her that screamed i learned a lot from what i went through with my own child and from this extensive research it seems as though she was blowing smoke up her own ass wrote a book and then scammed a lot of people into thinking she knew what she was talking about because from my perspective witnessing what she did she comes off like a complete fool there is nothing that an expert there's nothing of an expert in this role for her is what I'm getting at. She comes off like someone who has no idea what she's doing. And that's because the way you typed her up as an expert, it wasn't followed through in any of her decision making when it was really time for her to get involved into the story. And then she's out and she's out of the story the minute she really gets into it. Uh, Catherine stabs her in the eyes with a crucifix. Victor comes to her aid, drags her out of the room gets her in the hospital apologizes to her for getting her involved then she's in the hospital again having these jamie lloyd like halloween five episodes and it's it's just nonsensical if she was having visions in that moment what is causing that to happen 
It seemed as though Chris was having visions. She's putting her hands up and shit, having visions of something happening while the girls are being exercised. But why is that happening? What is going on with Chris? Did her research lead to her making some sort of deal with the devil or some sort of deal with another supernatural entity that now she can see things? There is no context given for that. And then, of course, Reagan shows up and visits her. Yay. I mean, who no, who cares? The fact of the matter is when she is in the story, you make very poor use of her. She is removed from the story just as quick as she's involved. And it makes not a not a lick of difference. If anything, it just shows the fact that you have once again, this creative team, once again, taken a legacy character You've just tossed them in for nostalgia. You didn't give them anything substantial to do. You wanted to do something substantial with them from how you told us they would be an expert. But then the way you built upon the initial introduction, it contradicts everything you claim that they say they are. What expert, again, would go up into a bedroom with a possessed child already knowingly telling us they've never done an exorcism and then proceed to try to do the act themselves. And then not only that, foolish enough to think that the exorcism that you've never done worked. So you get real close to the child. You try to be nurturing to the child. You walk the child back to her bed. And then what happens? You get your eyes stabbed out for being one of the most dumbest characters in a horror film in 2023. I quite literally was telling people she would be the Sally Hardesty of this year. And they did not disappoint. Unfortunately, Chris McNeil deserve better ellen burston she did fine in the role i don't really have a problem there but then the material she's working with completely awful an awful usage of the character it's everything i do not want for sydney prescott i hope a lot of you when you saw it you now see if you agree you at least see where i was coming from this is everything that sydney prescott does not deserve I do not want to see this for sydney prescott i would give david gordon green and his creative team the only positive legacy star they've handled well is Laurie Strode. Laurie Strode, and that's it. Lindsay Wallace, a waste. Marion Chambers, a waste. Lonnie Elam, who was barely a, barely even a blimp in the original, waste. Uh, just so many wasted legacy stars is all I'm going to say when it comes to the creative team that jumped from Halloween over into the Exorcist and continued their streak of poor use of legacy stars. Now with the latest being Ellen Burstyn's Chris McNeil character. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. Do you think it was a waste? Why or why not? Do you see where I'm coming from? Do you not see where I'm coming from? Let me know down below. If you haven't recorded, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.